Welcome, children of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show us what we are reading. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book to share with all God's children. I hope God's children understand that I am the runner and I'm going to win the prize in the holy book. Oh, Grandfather God, in the name of thy Son, our Father that you gave unto us, I pray unto you in his name. Please do what's written for me. Show the children who I called on. And thank you, Grandfather God, for the books I receive, my testimony that I'm reading to the children. And thank you, Grandfather God, for being a witness that I'm ministering unto your son. Yes, I'm ministering into our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to Run All God's Children. Oh, Father, the only Father. Have mercy on me, oh, Father, the only Father.
Father God, my Lord and Savior, my Father. For your Father is the only Father. I told your children that he wouldn't create nothing like us. For he created you, my Lord. And you, my Lord, we turned against. From the beginning up to now. That's what I read, my Lord. And my Lord, I read this to him. Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, the 24th verse. Let him that glory, glory in this, that he understand and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercised loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. My Lord and Savior, that's what they do when they come to run all God's children to be a witness that I'm learning about you. For it is also written, James, the second chapter, the sixth, the seventh verse. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name by which you are called? Yes, my Lord, they do. They call themselves anything but a child of God. They assume that I would know they're a child of God because they say they are a religion. Oh, my Lord, what have they done to your children? Well, my Lord, I read what they done to them. And you left word for us to know that we're just pilgrim here. You, my Lord, went and creating everything new. But you're coming back, my Lord. But this is what they do to your children. The second Peter, the second chapter, the second verse. And many shall follow their precious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken. Yes, my Lord, I found out what they do to your children. And they got your children doing pernicious. Yes, that's what they do now, my Lord. They brag about you, which I also read, my Lord, that that's evil. I read to them, my Lord, when you come together, it's not for the Lord's Supper. I also read, in as much as you do this, do this in remembrance of me, my Lord, this water, in remembrance of you, my Lord. And as much as I do this, I will say that whether I say it out loud or in my mind, or even if I forget and remember, I say in your name, my Lord, in remembrance of you. I even read, my Lord, whoever shall give a cold glass of water to a child in your name, in no wise will he lose his reward. But this pernicious, what they teach your children, taking your words, evil spoken. And I wonder, how did they do that? They got your children doing what they do. They following them. Yes, my Lord. 
Who is learning about you, my Lord? My Lord, I told them that you are the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I read to him, my Lord, that you are in us, your children, and we are in you, and you are in the only Father, our grandfather God. I never heard anyone through the years of me going to your house of prayer say the difference between you and majesty that told you to sit down. And I can truly say, my Lord, the children don't know because it's the way they are taught. It is what we do, my Lord, before you. It's not before anyone else because I am going to praise your name. Because you are worthy to be Revelation, the fourth chapter, the 11th verse. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things. And for thy pleasure they are and were created. Holy Father, I've got a testimony. It's about Jesus. He's worthy. I've read in Revelation the seven churches need to be told. Repent, 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 Jesus. No. Jesus, 
worthy to be praised. Jesus has an only Father. The Father has an only Son. And Jesus is worthy, worthy, glory, glory, worthy, my Lord, I wrote that unto you. For I did not know that I'm going to be the minister of you until last year. When I studied and I learned what you delight. Lord, I wrote this and I'm going to read it. Lord, in your name, you and majesty, please comfort me. O oh Lord, in your name and majesty, please comfort me. It's your children, my Lord. I just can't understand at me, my Lord, reading your holy words. I just can't understand the children of God, what they don't understand. Oh, Lord, in your name, you in majesty, please comfort me. In your name, my Lord and majesty, please comfort me. It's your children. My Lord, I just can't understand. A house divided cannot stand. And a nation divided cannot stand. I told them I called on you, my Lord, and majesty. And majesty gave to me my testimony. The doctrine. I told them I'm a child of God. I can't understand your children, my Lord, what they don't understand. In your name, you in majesty, please comfort me. Oh Lord, in your name and majesty, please comfort me. They say they know about the race in the holy book. Please comfort me. I don't understand the children of God. I read all things created by Jesus Christ. What your children don't understand. Comfort me, my majesty, in the name of our Father, Lord God, Jesus Christ, I read to the children of God, please comfort me. Yes, my Lord, I need you to do what's written. Well, they wouldn't know what's written if it was right in front of their face right now, my Lord. For surely, I'm the runner, and I'm going to win the prize. And I don't understand your children. Wouldn't they want to help? Are they running in the race? Do they know how to run in your race, my Lord? Me ministering unto something that everybody, Talk about. 
They say they even know about you, my Lord. Why are the children the way they are? My Lord, pernicious. Those that are head of your house and those that are teaching your children, not teach them. If I was to teach your children, my Lord, like I'm ministering unto you, I would teach them to learn. And the only way they can learn is through you, my Lord. And that's reading your word. I'm in biblical leadership principle and faith in Jesus' form. And even in leaking. And what they are doing is showing, I'm going to show them with you, my Lord. For in the Masonic order, we say that the, you are our, is our business. Yes. And right now, I'm letting my light shine. Because, my Lord, you are in us. And we are in you. And you are in the Father. The only Father that gave us a Father. I never heard one minister say that, my Lord, and call him grand. And he is grand. He gave us only begotten Son. And now, my grandfather is my witness. My Lord, you wrote this and this is true. Jeremiah, the 44th chapter, the 10th verse. They are not humble even to this day. Neither have they feared nor walked in my law, nor in my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers. My Lord, they brag about you and write about what you do. you never forsaken us. But I have no one that I have heard give knowledge about you, such as St. Matthew, the 15th chapter, the 8th verse. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Yes, my Lord, I, I read, take no word from man, but they do. I learned that I can't trust in myself. So I had to find out what trust is. Trust is my belief. My belief is my grandfather God. And I'll call him my grandfather God if your children don't call him their grandfather God. But soon they will. Because they will give you respect. Because respect of man is evil. And if they love this world or like this world, you're against them. I read that to them, my Lord. And I'm, this is my testimony unto you, my Lord, of the things I found out by reading your word. And if I was to teach the children, I would say, read for yourself. He's not an author of confusion. You even tell us why and what be happening and why we in the position we in. Because we did not listen to our Lord and Savior. I'll read this to him. You even told, listen. 
I'm not telling you to listen, my Lord. I'm just talking. Um, judge. Judges. The second chapter. The second and third verse. And you shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. And you shall throw down their altars. But you have not obeyed my voice. Why have you done this? You ask us, my Lord. Why have we done this? Pernicious. That's what they teach us, my Lord. Modernized. Pernicious now. Yes, modernized. The third verse. Therefore, I also said, I will not drive them out from before you. But they shall be as thorns in your sides. And their gods shall be a snar unto you. S N. A R E, which means a trap for catching birds or animals, but they catch you, our, our children, my Lord. I have to say ours, and they should say ours too, because we are all in you. We are one. I read to them, we are the Holy Ghost, but none of them would say that, I will say it, I am the Holy Ghost. Yes, my Lord, I have read to them that when he comes, he will show you what's mine. And I showed them your words, my Lord, even the writing that was in front of it. See, my Lord, I knew who I called on. I called on you, my Lord, and I tell them, even now, beware of what have come upon them. Do they think they're going to scare me like they did your disciples? Do they think they're going to tell me I'm lying before you, but you wrote to them? Everything is forgiven, even if they say something about you. But not the Holy Spirit, my Lord. That's what's written. They will not be forgiven. So for someone to tell me that I'm lying or I don't know what I'm talking about, my Lord, I'm ministering unto you before them. And... My grandfather, God, why would I want to lie on you to your face like they are doing? And I don't know if all of them do it. I'm just saying what I read, my Lord. They get it personal. But I, I'm going to praise your name. And I'm going to be before majesty. And before you, because we are one, and the children are going to know that before this is over with. And I tell them, Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where we will learn there is someone. Thank you. 
unto you, I can truly say it's a fearful thing to come in the hands of the Lord. And they need a little bit of wisdom because I, I, I read to them, my Lord, James, the first chapter, the fifth verse. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Yes, my Lord, you will give them a little wisdom. But right now, it's kind of late. Because they know everything. They say they got you, my Lord. But they're going to see you got me. And not just you. Grandfather God has me also. My Lord, you wrote in Jose the sixth chapter, the sixth and seventh verse. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice and knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. But they like men have transgressed the coven. There have, there have they dealt treacherously against you, my Lord. To this day, they are pernicious. Even your children, they got your children talking like 
them. Yes, my Lord. But I say this again, my Lord. There's nothing like you. And I'm going to praise your name before every nation. And that's true. Because I know who I called on, my Lord. As it is also written, and this is what another per pernicious pernicious, my Lord. They follow in them. Listen. Not you, my Lord. I'm talking about me. I need to listen. They say it, the word come by hearing. So I got to listen. I got to read it for myself. And if I read it out loud, I hear it for myself. St. Luke, the 8th chapter, the 10th verse. And he said unto, and he said, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But to others in parables that they seeing might not see. And they hearing might not understand. But do you know they tell your children they can't understand the parable that you wrote to us? I mean, it was simple. The seeds was on the on the on the ground. Some ground was okay, the ground wasn't, and then the thorns grew up with it. I mean, what so that they can't understand? They go to college. Or either if they don't go to college, they learn how to read. But they take man's word. They don't find out about you, my Lord. And those that are head of your house is being taught. So I don't know if all of them is this way, my Lord. That they are pernicious. Yes, pernicious, my Lord. And my Lord, this is what they really don't understand. Jeremiah, the third chapter, the 25th verse. We lie down in our shame. And our confusion cover us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God. We and our fathers from our youth even to this day and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Now, my Lord, this is what's about to happen. I told them what is coming up. Yes, sorrow. James, the fourth chapter, the ninth verse. Be afflicted and moan and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, moaning, and your joy into heaviness. Yes, my Lord. I also read that we don't, we don't come together for joy. We come together for sorrow. That's how you're going to make them come to you, my Lord. Don't they understand reading of your words? Well, my Lord, I thank you for letting me minister unto you. And I know you know everything. And I'm sticking to it, my Lord. My Father. My Father, Lord God, Jesus Christ, and everybody to hear my voice understand I'm not here to play with anybody and I'm not even here to make man happy I'm here because my Lord and Savior can only do what he can do to change this yeah and you want to know what to change look in the mirror 
and you will know why I called on the Lord. Yes, my Lord, I called on you because of the children. What don't they understand? And I can't understand. They know everything. But you, my Lord, is the only one that know everything in majesty that told you to sit down. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher and he is going to show us what we read. Yeah. Turning the way of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. That's written. Take care of yourself, children.